Uh, YouTube, <laughs> this is MTP Flyers coming at you with another unboxing. This I have actually had for a while now. As you see, I kind of opened it up to take a look at it and taped it back up for my curious camcorder video. So what I wanted to do was not only unbox this tonight, but try it out a little bit. I have my, obviously my iPhone down here. I have my Capsule Neo. I currently have it in my Cionix speakers right there. I was listening to that today. I was getting some of my homework done. I also have my iPhone, which I'm sporting my white capsule Neo that's signed. I have a lot of new subscribers. I don't know if they checked the video out, but I got the the silicone underneath the clear case signed by um, Joffrey Lupul, the Philadelphia Flyers, at the carnival a couple months ago. So definitely, if you didn't check out the video, I do have something just pop it up. I can't remember which video it is. So you're going to have to go back and check them all. But anyway, this might be a giveaway question down the road. So for my new subscribers, Joffrey Lupul, Philadelphia Flyers, sign that for me. My wife here has the first generation iPod Touch. So I'm going to take it out of the case. I don't think this will work in there with that. Let's get to it. And yes, guys, I did buy this, and you'll know why, what I'm talking about in a second. So here it is. This is the Richard Solo or Dexium dual dock charger. Sorry, it's not from Richard. It is from, I got it from Richard Solo, but it's a company that I believe they either own or are working with. But it is compatible with your 4G, iPod 2G, and Classic 2G. In there and the iPod 3G or iPhone 3G I and I get this and try it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. By the way, also in the book in the packaging was this little tiny booklet of everything that you need to do. Your instructions, all different languages and whatnot. So not many directions, just many different languages. Alright, let's Let's get to this bad boy. Open it up. Let me guess. Tape. No, no tape. All right, let's go ahead and put that to the side. This is a very nice piece of equipment, I feel. Not too heavy. That's the one thing that does concern me. I don't know as far as moving it around, how that's gonna, that's gonna hold up. I am a little... Now, my desk is flat. See that? That's kind of cheesy. I'm not liking that too much. Does anybody else have that problem with their dual dock? Right, I'm moving it all around my desk and that's going to be annoying. Oh well. What are you going to do? It seems like this one might be a little bit lower. Oh well. That's not what we're here for now, guys, is it? Okay, also included in here is your charger, which is a very nice long cord, which will work. Plug into the wall. Boom. Goes into the back of here. And as a matter of fact, I do have a nice little charger plug over here that we can actually try this. So you guys will see what I see. Or what I will see when I start using this. So... I believe this does light up once the phone is actually in it, and or device, I should say. Also, in here are the dock ports, different sizes for different for different items, depending on the device that you're using. Now, I don't know if these are marked. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these. I don't see. Anything other than a number on the back side here that actually says number 12. This one says, I believe, number 13. So, obviously, guys, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out that you probably need to go to the book to tell you what number corresponds to what particular item. And here we go, real quick. Number 15 is for the iPhone 3G. 
Number 14 is for the iPod Touch. Number 10, I don't know where they came up with these numbers, guys. I'm guessing you can order more. They're going to be having more. I don't know. You, you guys get the idea. So, for purposes of what I am trying to do today, I'll do my iPhone 3G, which, of course, is going to be the last one, right? Look, it's the last one. I think it's got to be this one, right? We got number 15. Now, they are covered in plastic here for shipping. And what we're going to do is that just drops right in there and clicks in. And let's do the iPod Touch, which is number 14. I think that was one of these ones that I picked up over here, correct? Yeah, there it is. This is number 14. I'm going to put my wife's iPod Touch in there. And you simply click that in. So you are all set up. Now, I again, I have my Capsule Neo on here. Will that fit in there? No. Now, I believe that this comes with its own dock, which will allow you to easily fit your iPod, I'm sorry, your iPhone with its case in it. So what we'll do is, we'll go ahead and take this out, and guys, I do not know how, I'm assuming that you're just going to peel this out, it's not exactly the easiest thing to get out now, is it? Judging by the way it clicked in there, it's not going to, uh, oh. There is a lip. You see that little, when you click that in, it easily comes out with that. So, you've got your clip. You slide your own clip in there, and that goes in there just fine. So, once you plug in your case, your phone, look at that. Now, let's go ahead and, ah, you know what, guys? I believe there is a switch on here. Yes, there's an on-off switch with lights included. I'll go ahead and turn this down so you can see that. That's actually pretty cool. Once we take that out, it goes completely out. So once you plug one of them in, the whole device then just lights up. Now i got to be careful here because I can't see what I'm doing. And it doesn't feel like it's going in. There you go. So... I also have my wife's iPod Touch, and that fits in the slot just fine. And there you go. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on there. Very interesting. I am very impressed with this. This is very nice. What would be even cooler is if you could charge your Nano in there with a form of stabilization on that because that really besides that stupid wobble that's really annoying oh well that wobbles a little bit but they are in there pretty secure I'm sure less secure if you didn't have the bracket in there a lot more wobble harder to harder to put on oh yeah that moves a lot more definitely don't want to do that however if I do want to charge the nano I can easily just plug it in and it will charge. So that's actually pretty cool. And that is charging. You just got to be careful. You don't want to wobble it too much because it does not have bracing on that to protect it. And that's, that's all I have. We all know that the iPod Shuffle will not work in there. <laughs> that is my first thoughts on this. Checking it out. It's really cool. The wobble bothers me a little bit. I'll have to just figure out a way to boost that up a little bit. I do have some 3M tape. I could probably rig it up somehow so it doesn't bounce. Glad you guys enjoyed that interview with Emil. That was really, really cool. I do have an idea for my next interview, and we'll leave it at a surprise. That person knows who he is. Most of you asked for it on Blog TV. If you were on there, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I believe I've decided that I will do it. It's going to be real. It's going to be honest. And, you know, just like Emil, I I tried not to hold back any punches and just kind of was fair. So, that's it. This is MTP Flyer saying you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you later. See ya!